In this video, I'm going to show you quickly how to look at mean, median, mode, range, mid-range, standard deviation used in Excel. I didn't pick a lot of numbers because I just want to show you kind of how it works. You can play with it later. Um, so I did put my data set over in the first column. Um, so I just typed in 45, 34, 102, 6, 95, 18, 27, 34, 12, and 45. I just picked some numbers, whatever. Um, and then I typed what I'll be doing, mean, median, mode, range, mid-range, and standard deviation, so you know what each of the numbers stand for later. That's kind of nice because if you do a calculation and you didn't label it, you might forget what it was, and Excel's not really going to tell you. So I'm going to go up to this first one, mean, and I'm just going to click in the screen so I can activate the screen. There are two ways to get Excel to do math. One of them is to type equals, and it kind of says it's looking for math, but you need to know what math you want it to do. Um, the other thing you can do is click on this FX button, and it says, okay, what do you want to do there? Um, so it's saying insert a function. That's the title of this when I click on it. There are some categories here, and I think this will be helpful because one of them is called statistical, and that's exactly what we're doing. As you click on it, which is really nice, it gives you a description. So if you're not sure that you picked the right thing, you can read it and see. So the first one we're going to do is um, the mean. And the mean in Excel is the average. If you're like, is that the right average? Is it mean, median, or mode? Read it. It says returns the average arithmetic mean of its arguments, which can be numbers or names, whatever. doesn't matter. What I want you to grab there is it does says is it is the arithmetic mean, and that's what we want. So we say, OK. It bounces to a screen. And it says, what numbers would you like me to use? So it's not reading. It doesn't know what's going on. It can guess, but we want to say, we would like to use 45. So I'm going to hold it, and I'm going to click down until that last 45 also. I'm going to let it go. And it brought in all those numbers. So it said it did cell A1 all the way down to A10. You can see the numbers over here. And you go, OK. Um, and it tells you here is the average. If you want more numbers, like it wasn't big enough, like I need to make my cell a little bigger, so I just grabbed it and drug it a little so I can see more data points. But it comes out to 41.8, so I just wanted a digit. I was sure it wasn't 42. Okay. Um, then I've done the mean. Now let's go to the median. So again, I'm going to click on the FX and say I would like you to give me a function. And I'm just going to go down until I see median and I'm going to click on it and I say OK. Um, once again, it's saying like what numbers would you like me to use? So I'm going to click on these numbers. It brings them in. Say so you're holding your mouse down until you get to the end. You let it go. It brings it in. I say OK. And it tells me the median. There are, prog there are functions that do mode. I don't think they're helpful to you. I think they're more trouble than they're worth right now um, because there's something for doing one mode or two, whatever. I just don't think it's helpful. So here's what I'm going to do for mode, and hopefully you can follow along. At the top of A, I'm just going to click, and you see how it like activates that column, and it says this is what you're talking about. I'm going to go over to the top where it says sort and filter, and I'm going to click on it. And it says, how do you want me to sort it? And I say smallest to largest. I think this will be the easiest way for you to get through. Like, we're just trying to do basic Excel. So if I sort it, I can see there's 1, 6, 1, 12, 1, 18, 127. I have two 34s, two 45s, a 95, a 102. I think visually it's easier for you to go, yep, I see 34, I see 45. Don't mess with the um, equation on that one. All right. So we didn't do an equation, we're just in Excel, but the sorting really helped, and the sorting's going to help again because there's not a function for range. But what I can do, now that it's sorted, um, I can see that my highest value is 102, my lowest value is 106, so over in this one that says range, I'm going to hit equals. Okay, Equals says, please do math for me. So I'm going to hit 102 minus 6, and when I push equals, it says 96. So I'm still using Excel, but just really basic, like a calculator. Great. Same thing for mid-range. It doesn't have a mid-range. So I'm going to go over there, and I'm going to click Equal and say, please do math for me. So I have to know that the mid-range is the highest, 102, plus the lowest, which is 6, um, and then divide by 2. 
important, just like you would put in your calculator, you need to tell Excel, parentheses around the 102 and the 6, so it'll add before it divides. I push enter, it says 54. So the last one we're doing is standard deviation. I want you to go over and again, click on the FX. Um, and now we're going to scroll down and we're looking for standard deviation and we're going to stop because all of a sudden there's a whole bunch of S T A S T D E V, right? And I want to make sure we know what we're looking at. Standardized. That's not it. It says returns the normalized. That doesn't sound right. Then it says standard deviation P. So read it calculates the standard deviation based on the entire population. Remember we said it's terribly hard to get a population. That's not really normal. So let's go to S, which says estimates the standard de deviation based on a sample. That's what we want to do. We have a sample. If you want to click on these others to see what they are, estimate standard deviation based on a sample, including logical values and text. That's crazy. We don't want that. Let's go back. We just want to be here at S. So this is our sample. That's what you want to use. So I say, OK. And once again, it says, what numbers do you have? So we have these numbers over on the left. We say, okay, and it puts out 32.57749.